this is kind of old news now, but I thought I'd make a video on it because I haven't actually done one and it's all about banning angled in brake levers. Now, I am kind of a big fan of this, but I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan. I think it's just often I've had to do it because my bars aren't narrow enough. But we're going to kind of go through the basics of what they're banning, what they're hoping to achieve uh, and how much of an effect it will have. So first of all, what are they actually hoping to achieve? Uh, well, to ban the extreme inward inclination of brake levers. Which is, which is fine. Uh, they want to ban, I guess, extremeness, which is up to debate. Um, it says it limits the braking capacity of the riders. Don't really understand that. Um, and they also reckon that it's not good for the handlebars as well. Apparently, the bike manufacturers are very... Uh, these people, the World's Federation of Sporting Goods Industry, uh, thinks that it's going to have, uh, you know, different stresses because they're not supposed to be mounted on that point. But... I don't know. I think the point is they're going to try and restrict it in 2024 and in 2025, they're going to have some banning system. Uh, it just all seems very complicated to me. I don't know how this is going to be rolled out. Is it going to be a like a full UCI rule, like 2.2s and stuff? Or is it going to be like a world tour thing, like the sock gate, you, sock jig, you never see that uh, any races anymore. So it's kind of one of those ones. Um, but I mean, I guess the first thing to talk about is obviously like the the flare, like the plane of the bar is like that. So is that allowed? Because that's angled in, right? But obviously it's not because it's on the flat, the on where the bar is. And I think that's actually going to be my main reason why I don't think this will be a big thing um, is because of this thing here. So I think they won't be able to ban a flared bar uh, because almost all bars more or less are flared. Um, and they won't be able to say, unless they start specifying the angle of flare, you're going to get around this really easily by doing exactly what this photo has done here of where your handlebar is going to be mega narrow um, and then they're going to flare in so you can get super error anyway. So I don't really think it's going to be a massive um, problem in that sense. I also think this angle here, I couldn't really, I mean, it looks pretty not, it doesn't look great, does it? Like you're not going to be able to push it in a lot, but it might be a decent amount that you can kind of get away with it. I think the other thing this rule doesn't appreciate is that actually what most people do is when they angle in it doesn't really have any pictures here so i'll go to my own presentation um is that they actually put it further down on the on the shifters so if we look at payo bill bow here now he's got something which i think they probably really disliked but obviously this is because it's a tt and all the rest of it but what you can basically see is more or less trying to adopt a tt position uh this is illegal anyway because the forearms are a significant part of the support of his position so technically this should have just been banned um, there and then like he shouldn't have been allowed to 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 race um i don't agree with this again but i'm just saying under the rules this is what they should do but they didn't do that but you can see these are massively bent in the question is though like if he just ran 34 mil bars would he have to bend them in i actually think it is more comfortable and easier to ride an aero position like that but if these were massively flared then he'd get away with it Again, if we look at Van Schip, now these bars are actually not banned themselves, but the position that he did here is banned. Um, but again, you can see what, what the main trend of these is the bars are actually further down and then lent in. So what it means is that you can have your handlebars like his, you can see here, like perfectly straight. Now, obviously his is like, the reason I picked it is because it shows it in such obvious detail uh, of like how people are trying to ride their bikes, but obviously they're not allowed to do it. So you can't do it like that. But if you think about it, all they need to do is just have a little bit of support when my mouse is here, uh, put it further, handlebars further down, and you can ride like that. And I think if they do that alongside the flare, and again, you can see Remco, like his handlebars are further down and there's some flare, but I don't think his would be enough. Like this thing here, it's really hard to tell how much this jig would be, but I think it won't be maybe as as big as people think um sorry it was like decently lent in it's really hard to tell because this angle here isn't perpendicular to there so i don't really understand it also depends how the jig works if it pushes on the outside of the bar versus the inside if you get narrower bars like literally the the width of the bar where it mounts i guess it'd be hard with the shifter but you can see my point is like there are ways to kind of finesse it but I, I don't think it's going to be a massive issue. I think what will happen is everyone will just ride 36 to 38 bars who wants to be narrow because some people don't care about it. You're just going to get manufacturers being forced to make narrow bars and people will just have less flare on the handlebars. Um, sorry, less angled in. Or what will happen is that this flaring situation will occur and like 36s and 38s will be made like this flared. And so then inside to inside, it'll be like 33 or something. And then you're and then you're all good. 
So I don't really see the point of it. It doesn't really make much sense to me. I don't think it's a safety issue. I don't think it's... Uh, it, it just makes no sense to me at all. I, I don't really understand it. I guess maybe it's just aesthetics, which is fine. But I think I'd rather they just said it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing, which is fine. That's people's opinion. Um, like sock height is aesthetics and I agree. It looks stupid having high socks. So that's fine. I'm on board. I think with this one though, I just think that they haven't necessarily thought enough about it. Or maybe they have when they implement the rule. Um, but until we see that, we're not, we won't be 100% sure what they're going to ban and what will be allowed.